Hello, welcome to CS Knits. This was not a planned video, um, so you're gonna probably have to bear with me for a little bit. Uh, today is April 12th, 2014. It is a Saturday, and it is the first Saturday where our motel has not been crazy. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick update. I am in the process of finishing my husband's socks. Um, I have them in my dainty vein chevron bag, and this was Jinx yarn, strong sock beige, in the Riku colorway, and it was 400 yards. Uh, I got his first sock done, Kitchener heel, all that, it was an afterthought heel, um, there's that basket weave kind of textured top part with the one by one ribbing. And then unfortunately my husband has a size twelve foot and this I have never really done socks. This is only the second third pair of socks I've done. And the first two were um for my size sock or for my size foot and I wear a size um eight and a half and for my cousin's foot who wears a size eight. And he had a bigger um He's apparently got a big foot. I don't know. So, and maybe it was something that I did or the patterning. I'm not sure. But I ended up, this is the very end. I'm done with the heel. I just have to Kitchener it. But unfortunately, I ran out of the Riku yarn. So I actually had to put in the Knit Picks glittery, I don't even know what it's called. I have it take here. Stroll Glimmer in the Peacock colorway. So it's got the Stellina in it, so it's got a little bit of glitter, but luckily it's only like a half inch on the back of the heel. He told me it was okay. It didn't matter because it would just be on the heel. So is what it is. I'll be done with those within the next probably 10 minutes. Um, I do have some stash in here. I ordered these online from CJ Knit, and there's her Etsy website, it's CJ Knit Yarn, Etsy.com, CJ Knit Yarn dot Etsy dot com, and Jane is spelled J A Y N E, and so I got a few things from her. I got this one here, it's kind of a neon color, neon colors with black. And this one is called Tickle Me Elmo. It's 463 yards of 75, a 75-25 blend. And so I'm actually probably going to start these today for myself. And then I also got from her, she is in, in Canada and it took, it took two weeks to get these in. And she shipped them out the day after. If any of you watch Breaking Bad or watched, I guess, Breaking Bad, this is called Los Pollos Hermanos, after Guy Fring, and you can see, like, the, um, the light blue in there, which is supposed to be, like, after the mess, because it was a blue mess. So, if you are familiar with that, you will know that. That is also 463 yards of the blood. She has amazing colors. The other thing that was really sweet about this is she actually added a little stitch marker in with each of her things. So you get kind of a color coordinating stitch marker with each of your purchases. So I got three, I had three skeins total that I ordered from her. So each of them came with their own coordinating stitch marker. And so that was fun. But I will finish Anthony's sock here in probably the next half hour. And then um, he will get to use those. He put it on and he was amazed at how warm it was. So unfortunately he's not getting these until um, springtime, but he is excited that he'll have them for next ice fishing season and winter season or to wear around the house. Cause they are knit, knit socks are the way to go if you've never had knit socks. Uh, I also did this video partly because I have some unique updates so I also wanted to throw in some quick knitting updates and my stash enhancement for that. 
Um, I don't really have any other knitting things going on. These are on size zero. Again, this is just like the bamboo bamboo needles that you can get online from the Stitchberry company. I love these needles. I'm really liking working with them. I love I personally love this cable. It's um very bendy and not stiff at all and I really like that. I have size zeros, ones and twos on the Knit Picks Caspian and I'm not really that big of a fan of them mostly just because this is so stiff and I even boiled water and held it over there and tried to make it more pliable but it stays stiff it goes back to being super super hard so I'm not a big fan of them but I really do like those bamboo needles so uh, I'm also up for openings. I'm trying to find if if people have like different ways. This is the way I did my toe on this on his sock, and this is <clears throat> still Judy's magic cast on, but I cast on 23 across and increased a little bit faster. So I don't know if you guys personally have different ways that you like to do your socks that this becomes more rounded, more quicker, and is not pointy or anything. And if you do, um, uh, comment below and let me know what the name of it is or where I can find it and maybe take a look at it because I'm open for ideas and opinions and I'm definitely always learning. So keep your needles clicking.